Oh, oh, hey, I'm Mark. Hey, let's go. Stuff to do. People to see. What's that? Actually, I got all of them cut. Because just getting one cut would be a waste of money. Hey, get in here. Hey, why? Because I'm a history teacher, and I'm going rogue. You know, when one looks out across the professional sports landscape, you see a number of cities all claiming to be title town. Green Bay calls itself title town. Four Super Bowls. New England's won six. Just what city is title town? I mean, we've taken a number of cities in a professional sports franchise, looked at which ones have won most championships over the last half century. What city has won the most in the four major professional sports? What city gets to carry the medal? Whose teams reign supreme? Ala Kazim! So, let's narrow this down. Let's set some parameters for what Title Town would be. Title Town must have multiple sports teams. I hear you, Green Bay, with your four Super Bowls over three different decades. But, but what do you do for the rest of the year? You drive to Milwaukee. San Antonio, my favorite NBA team. Love Greg Popovich. But what do you do outside of basketball season? You root for the Cowboys and the Astros. Two, Title Town ought to include recent championships. We will consider the modern professional sports era. For me, it starts in 1965. Why 1965? Well, that was the year of the first Super Bowl. There were NFL championships before the Super Bowl, but that was when players folded up their helmets and took them home after the practice. That is also about the time that the Giants and the Dodgers, the Lakers, the Warriors, the Rams all moved to California. Hey, Toronto. It's cool that the Maple Leafs won like 14 NHL championships all before 1967 when the NHL only had eight teams. Of course, Yankee fans are going to be upset too because we're not going to count the years of Ruth and Mantle and DiMaggio and all the other players that their grandfather told them about. Yankee fan, come into the 21st century. C, a city can't claim a team that is nearby. I can give New York City the Islanders, even though they play on Long Island, they don't get the Devils, though. They play in New Jersey. Los Angeles does not cheer for Los Angeles. They cheer for Los Dodgers. The Angels play in Orange County. So let's go. What American city is the real title town? Let's go rogue. Toronto. You don't get to claim the Argonauts. 16 CFL Great Cup championships. That's tantamount to double-A baseball. Hey, what would happen if we put the Hamilton Tiger Cats up against LSU? Who wins? The Raptors won an NBA title in 2019, and the Blue Jays won World Series in 1992 and 1993, giving Toronto three championships. But Houston, the Astros won a World Series in 2017, the Rockets, they won NBA championships in 94 and 95, but the Oilers, the Texans, nada. How about Denver? The Broncos, they won a Super Bowl in 97 and 98, and then in 2015, the Avalanche, they won Stanley Cups in 1996 and 2001, but the Rockies and the Nuggets, shut out. Washington, D.C. Well, we didn't nullify a big chunk of Washington, D.C. sports history. NFL championships that they won in 37 and 42, along with a 1924 World Series win for the Senators. Right. The Redskins, they won Super Bowls in 82 and 87 and 91. Uh, the Wizards, when they were the Bullets, they won an NBA title in 71. The Capitals won a Stanley Cup in 2018. The Nationals won a World Series in 2019. Still not good enough. But let's count them down from here. Number 10, Dallas. America's team has won five Super Bowls with Staubach and Landry in, 90, in 71 and 77, with Jimmy Johnson and Aikman in 92, 93, and 95. Beyond the Cowboys, the Mavericks have won an NBA championship. The Stars have won one NHL championship. Texas Rangers, they haven't won a World Series, but they've won two American League pennants. Number nine, Philadelphia. Again, an Eastern city with a long history in the NFL, NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball. We nullify an NBA championship in 1955 and three NFL championships in the 40s. The Eagles recently have won one Super Bowl in 2017 although they've appeared in two others. The Flyers of the NHL won Stanley Cups in 1974, 1975. The Phillies 
won World Series in 1980 and 2008, and the 76ers won NBA championships in 67 and 83. Hey, I'd love to throw Rocky in there, the Italian stallion from the mean streets of Philly, but alas, seven league championships for Philadelphia across four sports, same as Dallas. But the city of brotherly love has more conference championships across these sports, giving it the nod over Big D. Number eight, Detroit. A city with a long professional sports history. Unfortunately, we got to cut out a number of championships from the first half of the 20th century. NFL championships for the Lions in 35, 52, 53, and 57. Tigers World Series in 35, 45, and 58. But in the Super Bowl era, the Lions have won no NFC championships, let alone a Super Bowl. The Tigers won a World Series in 1984 under Sparky Anderson and three AL pennants. The bad boys of the 1980s, Rodman, Lambeer, John Zally, Isaiah Thomas, they won NBA championships in 1989 and 1990, and another Pistons team won in 2004. And although we got to cancel out seven Stanley Cups for the Red Wings, they still have four Stanley Cups in the modern pro sports era. 97, 98, 2002, and 2008. Detroit, eight league championships across four professional sports, good enough for our number eight. Number seven, San Francisco causes us some issues because the 49ers play in nearby Santa Clara. Do we count the Warriors, which moved originally to San Francisco from Philly, then moved across the bay to Oakland later? And if we take Golden State, do we also count the Raiders? Do we count the Sharks, who play in San Jose, 40 miles to the south? Urgh. Okay, hearing from Casey. Warriors, no. Raiders, no. Sharks, no. Fine, sounds good to me. The San Francisco Giants, since moving in from New York City, have brought the city by the bay six National League pennants and three World Series wins in 2010, 2012, and 2014. When they were specifically the San Francisco Warriors after moving from Philadelphia, they won the city an NBA title in 1975. The team that San Francisco leans on from year to year, that has always been a San Francisco team, is the 49ers, who won five Super Bowls under the leadership of Joe Montana and Steve Young in 1981, 84, 88, 89, and 94. Number five, Oakland. Taking the mantle from San Francisco, Oakland has as many championships as San Francisco does. The A's won in 72, 73, 74, and 89 World Series, won more than the Giants. The Raiders won Super Bowls in 1974, 1980, two less than the 49ers. And the Warriors won one NBA championship while officially in San Francisco and three in the 2010s while based in Oakland. The difference? Oakland's won more total conference championships in San Francisco, giving Oakland the nod. Number five, Chicago. The Windy City has a long professional sports history. George Hallis founded the National Football League. Like Philadelphia and Detroit, though, we have to ignore the championships from the first half of the 20th century. Eight NFL championships, two World Series wins for the Cubs, two for the White Sox, and three Stanley Cups for the Blackhawks. In the modern professional sports era, the Bears won one Super Bowl in 1985. We are the Bears, shuffle in crew, shuffle on down, do it for you. They call me sweetness. Uh, I used to know the words to that. The Cubs won a World Series in 2017. The Southside White Sox also won a World Series in 2005. And the Blackhawks have brought home three Stanley Cups in 2010, 2013, and 2015. The heyday of Chicago professional sports, though, was the running of the Bulls in the 1990s led by one Michael Jordan. The Bulls won NBA championships in 91, 92, 93, 96, 97, and 98. Chicago, man, five. Number four, Pittsburgh. This is a city handicap by only having three professional sports teams. The Pittsburgh Pisces don't count, even if Dr. J played for them. It was only a movie. Nevertheless, the Pirates have won two World Series, 
and 71 and 79. We are family. I got all my sisters and me. The Penguins, powered by Mario Lemieux, won Stanley Cups in 91, in 92, 2009, 2016, and 2017. But the big boys of Pittsburgh are the Steelers. Super Bowl wins in 74, 75, 78, 79, 2005, and 2008. Pittsburgh, man. Number four on our list. Number three, New York City. The nation's largest city, the largest market, highest expectations among fan bases. So here we go. Because of its long history of sports, many championships get canceled by our time frame. The NHL Rangers won a Stanley Cup in 1994. The New York Jets won a Super Bowl with Joe Namath in 1968. And not much since. The NBA Knicks won NBA titles in 1970 and 73. The New York Mets won World Series in 1969 and 1986. The New York football giants have a long NFL history. They've won four Super Bowls in 86, 1990, 2007, and 2011. But the pride of the New York City professional sports, though, is the Bronx Bombers, the New York Yankees. We have to nix the 20 World Series that they won between 1923 and 1962. In the modern professional sports era, the Yankees have won four World Series in 77 and 78. I hate you, Reggie Jackson. 1996, 1998, 99, 2000, and 2009. But it's not enough to displace number two on our list. Los Angeles. This is the place where teams go to find better weather. The Dodgers left Brooklyn, the Rams left Cleveland, then went to St. Louis and came back. The Lakers left Minneapolis, swimming pools, movie stars. The Raiders spent some time in LA between stints in Oakland, winning a Super Bowl in 1983. The Rams went to three Super Bowls. They won one while they were in St. Louis, so that one doesn't count. The NHL Kings have won two Stanley Cups, and the Dodgers have won three World Series in 1965, 81, 1990, 1988. It's Kirk Gibson limping to the plate like someone shot him in the kneecap and sends one into Vin Scully land in the right field bleachers right in front of my in-laws. The most significant professional sports team in LA though is the Lakers who moved from Minneapolis in 1960. I don't have my list. You can see it right there. Number one. Titletown, USA, can only be Boston. Boston has a long sports history as well. In the Super Bowl era, the NHL Bruins won three Stanley Cups. The Red Sox won World Series in 2004, breaking the curse, 2007, 2013, and 2018. The New England Patriots have dominated the NFL recently, winning Super Bowls in 2001, 2003, 2004, 2014, 2016, and 2018. But the Boston team that's won the most championships during this time frame is the NBA Celtics. Our time frame barely runs through the middle of a period of Celtics domination in the NBA in the 1960s. Since 1965, the Celtics have won NBA titles in 1965, 66, 68, 69, 74, 76, 81, and 84. Boston, man. Title Town, USA. Well, what do you think? Do you agree? Is Boston truly Title Town or do, do the numbers lie? Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank my producer, Casey Moulton, and Avery, and Mr. Brent Allen for letting us use his studio here on the campus of Columbia High School. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. If I did it right, you did both. I had fun, but I don't quit my day job. And hey, next time some pretender city calls itself Title Town, Remember me, I'm Mark Haggard, I'm a history teacher, and I'm going rogue.